completing a Stuart triple expansion engine. Part 44. Continuing the cylinder cladding job, enlarging the holes where the drain taps fit and cutting out the end part to clear the exhaust manifold of the high pressure cylinder. As I mentioned in the last episode, this is a job that I really do not like at all. This anodized aluminium cladding scratches if you look at it. So I am going to paint it in the end, I think. In this clip, I'm holding the cladding in position to check the alignment of the holes in the cladding with the alignment of the holes in the casting where the drain cocks fit. It's at this point I need to make a decision. Do I use the drain cocks to hold the cladding to the cylinder? I'd rather not do that. It's very convenient, and of course, this is what it would look like if the drain cock screwed into the cylinder block just enough to hold the cladding up against the cylinder, but it doesn't. I'm going to enlarge the holes in the cladding so that the drain cock passes all the way through the hole, then I will be able to tighten it up against the main cylinder. More about this later on in the video. I'm using this milling cutter fitted into my Proxon drilling machine. This is an ideal cutting tool for trimming the hole to the right size and also moving its position. The problem is that the card template fitted perfectly but the cladding has to be bent around the low pressure cylinder then the holes move. And that's the initial reason why I drilled the hole small in the first place. Here I'm marking the position for the hole where it needs to be changed. And to cut through the anodized layer, I'm using the point of a needle file for this. Once I've moved the position of the holes to be in the right place, I fitted a drill bit in my small Bosch battery-operated electric drill and drilled out the holes so they were round. I didn't want to use the drilling machine in case the drill bit grabbed the work. And yes, the drill bit could grab the work in this electric drill, but it stops instantly. This hole, which has to match exactly with the intermediate cylinder steam chest inlet, is not quite in the right place, so I'm remarking it. Now most of the holes are just about in the right position. I bent the cladding to fit around the low pressure cylinder, and the next job is to move to the other end and trim the mahogany around where the flange for the exhaust manifold from the high pressure cylinder fits. The position of this first exhaust port Unlike the other two that are cut into the cladding, means that I'm going to have to cut away the cladding to accommodate the flange. I didn't realise this when I made the template, but it became very apparent when I tried to temporarily attach the manifolds to the engine. Here I'm using a small drum sander in my bench-mounted Proxon motor tool to clean up the aluminium. I'm also going to use two bolts at each end to hold the cladding to the main casting. The aluminium sheet is ever so slightly too long, so I scribed a mark on it and made it the correct length by using my one inch belt sander very carefully. You can see in this clip that the holes and mountings are not exactly in the right place for the flanges on the rest of the exhaust mounting. But as this inaccuracy is covered up by the flange, I think I can live with that. The holes still need a little bit of work, they're not quite the right size, nor are they in the right place. And here is the problem where I need the holes for these drain cocks to be a bit bigger. If I screw the drain cocks up to the cladding, they're not in the right place. When they are in the right place, they need a shim washer. And as you can see, they don't look too good. And also, they don't centralise very well on the threaded part of the drain cock because they're a bit big. I'm glad I decided to start with this side. This is the difficult side. I've bolted it all back together temporarily. And the position of the short manifold looks a bit wrong, but it's mainly the camera angle. I thought I would turn the engine round and look what was yet to come, the other side. This is going to be quite simple in comparison with the side I'm making at the moment. I've seen quite a lot of very bad cladding on these Stuart triple expansion engines. The one that was built by Ronnie Mall that I have in a glass case is almost perfect, but Ronnie was telling me that he doesn't use this aluminium cladding what he does is he buys cheap baking trays from supermarkets and chops them up because it's steel and it's thin. And that's what I should have done. I don't really like the appearance of the anodized metal. And as you can see, if you look carefully, it's already been marked. The next part of this job needs a great deal of accuracy. I'm going to put the holes in precisely the right place, fit an O-ring on the threaded part of the drain cock, and when this is tightened, 
the o-ring will get squashed out a little bit and fill the gap. By now I've got the bend around the low pressure cylinder right and I need to make some minute adjustments. You can see the scribed lines and all I'm doing is just changing the positions very very slightly of the holes so they match perfectly with the holes on the casting. And that way the flange on the drain cocks will fit through these holes and mount up against the cylinder. And as I've mentioned before, four holes, two at each side and some 7BA brass bolts will make it so I can fasten the part to the cylinder. For the final sizing of the holes, I'm using this very useful grinder. It's fitted in my bench mounted Proxon motor tool and it makes the holes precisely the right size. And now they are of course in the correct position. Once all the holes were in the right place and the right size, I used the deburring tool to clean off all the burrs. These are really useful and essential tools to have in the workshop. It's a blade that rotates in a holder and you just spin it around and it cleans off all the burrs. I've decided that I'm going to paint this piece of metal, so here I'm using some 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper to just score it ready for the paint. This clip shows the temporary fitting of some red steam grade silicone o-rings on the threaded part of one of the drain cocks and as you can see it fills the hole perfectly. The red doesn't look too good, I'm going to use black. I have some black silicone o-rings but they are too weak. I've ordered some Viton o-rings which are a lot stronger. And with some help from Loctite 542 to hold the drain cocks in position, I think that with these o-rings they're not going to leak. I still need to drill the holes for the 7BA mounting bolts at each end of the cladding, but I'll do this later. In this clip, I've temporarily refitted the manifolds and the whole thing's starting to look better. This engine has come a long way from what it was when I first received it. Time for me to go. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.